about to be defended here momentarily. And a former two-time Diamond Division champion is going to join us right here at the broadcast table. Get out of the way. The Renaissance. Well, come on now. Let's be respectful here. Welcome. This is a this is a Renaissance woman. All right, Matt. Introducing first from the Red took a Greyhound bus to get here tonight for this opportunity, and why not? Because the Diamond Division Championship hangs in the balance, and right now we want to welcome the Renaissance woman, Hyun, right here at the broadcast table. Thank you for joining us, Hyun. Thank you for having me. It's been a minute. It's been a while since I've been back here. Absolutely. Well, it hasn't been a minute since you made your presence felt. You know, we saw you kind of get involved with, in that match a couple weeks ago with Jenna Lynn. And Rachel Rose, what was your motivation there? Come on, guys. Like, I've been in Japan for three months. I come back. I don't even have a match on the show. And these two green and rookies... back. I mean, why, why are you out here tonight to watch this match? I just want to get some scope on the talent. I've been actually in the ring with Roxy before at Ladies Night Out. I've actually never been in the ring with Alex Gracia. Roxy, Matt, has the opportunity to become the youngest champion in the history of this organization. This organization has a 17-year-old ever captured a championship in professional wrestling outside of the reality of wrestling. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It probably hasn't happened. I'll tell you what, it would be quite a story. Perhaps the story of the year. You know, I, that's not to write Roxy off. If you guys remember, Gino was the youngest reality of wrestling champion, Absolutely. and look what he grew to become. I can see that in Roxy as well. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I think Roxy has all the tools. She's still raw, she's still green in a lot of ways, but she is a tremendous athlete. And I, I mean, I gotta say, I don't know what you were doing at 17 years old, but I can tell you this much. I wasn't taking Greyhound buses to, to wrestling promotions all over the state of Texas and showcasing my talent, and great talent it is, kick out here at two. Roxy is, who knows what she'll be doing in the next few years. I think there are a lot of title runs in her. But the question is, is it too much too soon? I mean, when you're 17 years old, you already have an opportunity at the One. biggest championship in the division. Is it is it is the moment gonna overcome? Is it is it too overcoming for her? One, two. I don't think it is. I say that she's been in the ring since she was 13 years old. It's Essentially only four she's years. she's Alex Gracia's vet in my eyes. Alex Gracia, of course, is very young in her career, not only in reality wrestling and professional wrestling in general. Well, let me get your thoughts on this, Hyun. Young. You're a former two-time Diamonds Division champion. You've been in positions before. Certainly, you remember your first and your second title defense. This is only Alex Gracia's second title defense. What kind of butterflies do you think she's experiencing in this one? I think she has a lot to prove. Let me remind you, she didn't pin AQA at Summer of Champions. She didn't pin the champion to become the champion. So I feel like she has an uphill battle to prove herself as the best Diamonds Division champion there's ever been. Well, you're absolutely right. And speaking of AQA, Roxy did beat AQA at Ladies Night Out to get this opportunity against Alex Ross. Alex Ross has successfully defended her championship at the same event. Both challenger and champion testing each other early here. Diamond's title hanging in the balance. A very special night of action continues. As we 
we get you set as we set the table for Rise to Wrestling Royalty. Rex Andrews and Aiden Cristiano will be in action later on here tonight, as well as Brendan Steen and Clay Roberts in tournament action too. There you go. Roxy was trying to go for that arm drag, not able to get it. Cover here. The champion to retain. Roxy slips out the back door. It just seems to me that she just needs a little bit more guidance, a little bit more attitude. You sound like you're on a recruiting mission out here. I mean, I like the kid. I've been in the ring with her before. I've been impressed. But she still needs a little bit more. Well, I mean, I, I mean even though you said she is this, a, is this a soft spot from the Renaissance? I, I know, I'm a little bit. I see a back. little bit of myself in her. She just needs to, you know, just a little bit more attitude. She needs, you know. You can bend the rules a little bit. Well, I don't know if that's well, that's great certainly, advice. That's certainly up for interpretation. Oh! Alex Gracia here, looking to retain against the 17-year-old sensation, Roxy, trying to stay alive. She would love to take that Diamond Division Championship back to oh. the Valley on that Greyhound bus. Hooks the leg again here. Hyun, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this question. Regardless of who wins this matchup here tonight, are you going to demand a title shot for that Diamonds Division Championship, perhaps at the rise of wrestling royalty? Absolutely. I was there at the first ever champions when we crowned the first ever Diamonds Division champion. I helped build this division to what it is today. I trained these girls, okay? I've been to Japan. I've done everything for this division, more than anyone in that locker room has ever had. So, yes, I deserve my shot. She makes a strong case. Cover here, the challenger. Oh, my. Headlines about to be written by the 17-year-old. But the pink dream presses pause on that, and the match continues. Roxy getting frustrated. Roxy got the better of her. Looks like, oh, Roxy working those right ropes. here. Oh, high knee to the jaw. That, that could, could be, be it. A new Diamonds champion to be crowned, Roxy. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. I thought that was it. I did too. I mean, Roxy obviously did by the look on her face, pleading with the referee, Isaac Bouillon. This young lady has an opportunity to be crowned Diamonds Division champion before her senior prom. Shocking. Oh, I mean, the Diamonds Championship would be a little bit better than a class ring. Most definitely. Especially for high school. Oh, what's she going for? What's she going for? I think she's going for that boot salt. Gracia takes out the landing gear there. And now the champion. Looking for the pink dream. Pink dream, she's gonna put me to sleep. Roll up here for the challenger. New Diamonds champion, though. I think that might be the point. Here we go, roll up. Oh, she's gonna go for a pin right there. And a big kick to the dome. A shining wizard. Two, three. Champion Alex Gracia, you have called your shot and you have demanded it. We will see if the office grants you that opportunity. Well, I'm standing up. Almost getting face to face with the pink dream. Wait, hold on now. Hold on here. Some trash talk from the Renaissance woman to the pink dream. But as far as Roxy goes, back to the line, kid. Thank you very much to Hyun for joining us here tonight at the broadcast table. More action still to come on the go-home edition of Reality of Wrestling.
wrestling. 